Hi there and welcome to today's Quentin Carpenter Nature of Flowers tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at making a disintegrated face like the one you see in front of you here. To do this we're going to be using two layers and we're going to be using some layer masks. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need to do is open up a photograph of a face. Make sure it's on a new layer from the background so you can see here it's on a new layer. And then you're going to need to create a layer mask by clicking the layer mask button here. Once you've done that, you will need to select a brush and you will need to go into the brush menu and you will need to search through the brushes until you find a nice splattery effect one. And I'm using one of these ones here. Okay, once you've done that you can change the size of it up here so you've got it the correct size. Then once you have got the mask set up you need to make sure you're on the black, you're on the paintbrush, you've got the right paintbrush setting and then you need to start to splatter out parts of the face like so. And to do this you could use it to get rid of large areas of it and splatter out lots of these effects like so it's a little bit laggy and you will see that we end up with our splattered disintegrated effect like so now if you see on the one I did earlier We've got some other things going on. It's not just a question of rubbing out parts of the face. We've also got a layer where there is more of the face over here that's been fragmented out. So to do that, on our layer here, we are going to duplicate that layer. Click OK. We can delete this mask. So we've just got the original picture. Now we need to have part of the image, so if I go back to the one I showed you earlier, that's behind here to create these different colours. And so to do that we're going to liquefy this part of the face. We're going to go into the liquefy menu, which will just take a moment to load. But I'm just going to go back and do it a different way. Liquefy and once we get the liquify menu, we need to make sure on the finger forward warp tool, we need to make sure we've got a decent size warp, and then we're going to warp out the image so that we've got the colours that we're going to use for our effect, where we're going to have the fragmented bits going out of the face, like so. Once we've done that, click OK. You'll then see we've got a really weird looking image, so we're going to place that behind our layer mask. We're going to go back to our layer mask. We're going to go back to our paintbrush tool and we're going to make sure we're on the right part. So we click here where the layer mask is, make sure that we've got the white border around it and then we can mask out more of our image. In fact we need to be the other way. We need to be adding masks to it. You'll notice that there's no picture here, so it's not masking it out. So on that way, we go onto this layer, go onto the paint bucket, fill in that area, fill it in with white. Then when we add our layer mask, you'll see that we are then covering that piece up. So we go back to that setting, light click on here and now you can see we are getting that fragmented effect that we have in the background of our other image that so looks like parts of the face are disappearing. Now we could also add in a layer mask on this one as well and that way we can have a dual layered effect going on. So if we layer mask out some of this, just hide that layer a moment, make sure on the layer mask, make sure on the black here, and then we can start to 
lay a mask out some of this so that way when we put the other layer on top you can see we've got a more interesting effect going on and we can change between each layer as we click on it so that we have got more of the right image coming through from our layer mask make sure we're on the right bit so always click on the actual area here where the layer mask is and then add in all the bits you want to mask out here and here and open up the other layer and you can now see what is happening with our image i still think we need to mask out some more of this layer so click on it there's white dark black bit there and there maybe bring some around this side as well and then open up that one and then you can see now on my original one here you can see i've also added in a gradient background so i'll show you how to do that on the, this one so we go into the background layer here we choose a gray and a white and we use the gradient tool to add our gradient in and we make sure it's the right way around and then we will need to go to the layer where the layer masks are and we need to make sure we have got enough layer mask to cover all the area that we need so it would be worth changing our brush to a regular brush up here and then masking out the rest of the area on that layer and then masking out the rest of the area on this layer so we have it how we want our image to look and make sure we do some on this one as well here and some on this one and you can see now we're starting to get that really cool gradient effect so if i go back to the original one here you can see i worked around these areas here to create that really cool splattered disintegrated effect with all things in photoshop so you can see on this one i need to add in some more areas here so i'll leave some of that into this one, loosen the flag. And then go on to this layer here and add in a few more of our. dots and a few more on here and there you go you see we've made our disintegrated picture so the more time you spend on it obviously you can get better results have fun making your own disintegrated portraits um, obviously you could do it different ways as well you can have different shaped brushes to create different disintegrated effects I hope you've enjoyed watching today's tutorial. If you had, make sure you pop over to Quantum Cup Nature Flowers, hit that subscribe button, tick the notification bell, and you'll be alerted every time I make a new video. Okay, thanks for watching, and have a good day.